Imagine you're on a wild roller coaster, you know, the kind that makes your stomach do somersaults, that's investing. Just like a roller coaster, investing comes with its share of thrills and chills. One moment you're soaring to new heights with the market on an upswing, and the next, you're plunging into the depths during an economic downturn. And let's not forget those unexpected twists and turns, the company-specific risks that can make your portfolio spin out of control. It's like being on a roller coaster where you're not only enjoying the ride but also trying to grab as many golden rings as you can. That's the risk-return trade-off for you. High risks might bring high returns, but they also come with the possibility of high losses. So what can you do to keep your lunch down during this financial thrill ride? Buckle up because we're about to dive into the world of VAR and risk budgeting. Enter the knight in shining armor, value at risk, or as the cool kids call it, VAR. Imagine you're sitting at a poker table. You've got a handful of chips and a risky bet to consider. VAR is like your sidekick whispering in your ear, giving you a ballpark figure of how much you could lose if Lady Luck decides to take a vacation. Now let's break this down. VAR is a statistical model that estimates the potential losses of an investment portfolio within a certain time frame and at a certain confidence level. Think of it like this. If VR says 20%, it means there's a 20% chance your portfolio could take a nosedive. It's like a weather forecast for your investments. But here's kicker. VR doesn't tell us everything. It's like your car's fuel gauge. Sure, it tells you when you're running empty, but it won't tell you the quality of the gas or if there's a banana in your tailpipe. Similarly, VR gives us the worst case scenario, but it doesn't tell us anything about happens beyond that point. It's not a crystal ball, but rather a compass, guiding us through the rough waters of financial markets. Let's take a quick detour to the land of limitations. VAR relies heavily on historical data, and as we all know, history doesn't always repeat itself. Just because it cats and dogs today, doesn't mean it will tomorrow. Also, VAR assumes markets are efficient and that assets are liquid, which is not always the case. So while VR is a great tool, not infallible, it's like a superhero with a slight Achilles heel. But wait, there's more. VR isn't the only tool in our risk management toolbox. Meet risk budgeting. Now we've got a dynamic duo on our hands, ready to tackle the unpredictable world of investment. So buckle up because we're about to dive into the fascinating world of risk budgeting. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and to our channel for more insightful content. We've got plenty more where this came from. Risk budgeting, the unsung hero of our investment saga, is all about spreading our eggs in different baskets. In the wild roller coaster ride of investments, it's our safety harness, making sure we don't tumble off the edge during a sudden dip. So what exactly is risk budgeting? Picture it as a grand strategy game. Each player, or in our case asset, is assigned a role based on their strengths and weaknesses. The aim is to conquer the kingdom of profits, while minimizing the casualties of losses. In the world of investments, this translates to allocating risk across a portfolio. Just as a general wouldn't put all his troops in one place, you wouldn't want to put all your investment risk in one asset. It's about playing smart, putting your money in different places to balance out potential gains and losses. This is where risk-based asset allocation comes into play. Imagine you have a team of superheroes. You wouldn't send the Flash to do a Hulk's job, right? Similarly, each asset in your portfolio has a role to play based on its risk characteristics. Some might be more volatile, like tech stocks during a market shakeup, others might be more stable, like bonds during economic stability. By assigning each asset a risk budget, you're effectively diversifying your portfolio, spreading the risk around. Now diversification isn't about scattering your investments like confetti at a party, it's a calculated strategy, based on understanding how different assets behave under various market conditions, it's about finding the right mix, the perfect recipe that gives you the best chance at winning the investment game. But here's the catch, there's no one-size-fits-all strategy in risk budgeting, it all depends on your personal risk tolerance, your investment goals, and your financial situation. It's a bit like choosing the right outfit for a party. You need to consider the occasion, the weather, and of course, your personal style. Now you might be wondering, how do VOR and risk budgeting work together? Hold on to your hats, folks. That think of VR as your financial speed limit and risk budgeting as your GPS, guiding you within that limit. Now isn't that a picture? You wouldn't drive without a speed limit or a GPS, would you? Similarly, in the investment world, VR helps set your risk limits. It's like a guardrail, keeping your investments from veering off into the ditch of potential heavy losses. On the other hand, risk budgeting is that trusty GPS. It helps allocate your assets within the limits set by VR. It's like planning a road trip. 
You wouldn't put all your gas into one stretch of the journey, would you? You'd allocate it, ensuring you have enough fuel to get you through the whole trip. Risk budgeting does just that, but with your investments, spreading risk across your portfolio to avoid putting all your eggs, or in this case, all your money, in one basket. So that's VR and risk budgeting in a nutshell. But what's the takeaway from all this? Investing can be a wild ride, but with tools like VR and risk budgeting, you're not riding blindfolded. These tools are the seatbelts and airbags of your financial vehicle, designed to keep you safe during the inevitable ups and downs of the market. Value at Risk, or VAR, gives you a glimpse into the potential losses could face within a certain time frame. It's like a financial weather forecast, helping you prepare for the stormy days. On the other hand, risk budgeting is your guide for spreading your investments. It's like a compass guiding you through the investment landscape, helping you diversify and allocate your assets wisely. These tools are not infallible but they are vital. They help you understand your risk tolerance, make informed decisions, and navigate the financial markets with confidence. So do your homework. Consider seeking professional guidance, and always remember the importance of risk management. Remember, informed investing is savvy investing. Keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep investing. Until next time, happy investing. And before you go, don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video useful, and subscribe to our channel for more financial insights and investment tips. Your support helps us continue creating content like this. So, go ahead, like, subscribe and join our community of savvy investors.